It is the Midwest state that hadn't voted Republican in nearly 30 years until Donald Trump. The car there is a clue, but now insiders claim the Michigan Senate race may be one of the toughest ones for 2018. Our next guest, this conservative outsider, is looking, he's looking at the race, and he's in the race. He's an Iraq War Army veteran running to replace Democrat Debbie Stabenow and says his message is what Michigan needs to hear. Joining us now is U.S. Senate candidate and combat vet John James. John, uh, thanks for being here. So tell us why. President Trump wins Michigan. It has not been a, a, a friendly place for Republicans. Tell us why it will be in 2018 in your estimation. Well, I'll tell you what, in my estimation, people in the state of Michigan are sick of the Democratic brand uh, of dependency that's being peddled by the powers that be in Washington, D.C. And right now, the message is really resonating because people in the state of Michigan, really nationwide, the message is really resonating. A conservative outsider who understands national security from a strategic to a tactical standpoint, understands what it takes to keep Americans safe because he's actually done it before. And somebody who actually understands what it takes to create economic opportunity because he's actually created businesses, he's actually created jobs, and understands the nuances thereof. And having somebody with these disciplines, this real world, real life experiences, uh, fighting for Michiganders from uh, east side to west side, black and white, left and right. These are the skill sets that we need. And uh, I need your support. Take the fight to Washington. Please go to johnjanksforsenate.com to learn a little bit more. John, I'm interested as you, as you head through Michigan and you talk to folks, many of whom have would have voted for Donald Trump because uh, he won the state of Michigan. What things that he has done are they happy about that or upset about that they want you to bring to Washington and to deal with in Washington if you get elected to Senate? I will say it very clearly. Results, not rhetoric. That is what the people of the state of Michigan want. And that is what they are, are doing with but, the but, grassroots but re support. Results, that I results on what? Give me specific policy things that you're talking to folks that really resonate in Michigan. Of course. The biggest thing is tax reform. And tax reform got done. Our president has kept his promises to the American people, and he's delivered tax reform and signed into law before Christmas. And this is a massive Christmas present, not just for, for the middle class, who will experience more choice. For example, the 529 plan now applies at K through 12, not just in college. Mm -hmm. And when you give mm -hmm. parents choice, you give children a chance in the state of Michigan, repatriating trillions of dollars uh, from overseas and millions of jobs back manually manufacturing jobs, uh, great jobs here in the state of Michigan. And that really affects. And, and, and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and, and Debbie Stabenow have been fighting that every step of the way. And Michiganders are tired of partisan politics and want well, results, not mm -hmm. more rhetoric. Well, if they're tired of partisan politics, they're going to go a whole lot more of it. And uh, this uh, potentially after 2018, I mean, the, the balance of the House, the balance of the Senate are at issue. And the resist Democrats have said potentially impeachment is on the table based on what? We're not quite sure. Uh, your opponent, Debbie Stabenow, has been a reliable vote for Democrats. Uh, what is she running on? What is she telling the people? of Michigan. Well, right now, all I can tell is the entire Democratic Party is not a party for. They are a party against. And they really don't have an identity, as far as I can see, other than impeach Trump. It's the one thing that unifies them. And the, what, what unifies us, our conservative values, is bringing people together, moving everybody up, allowing everyone to have access to the American dream. And these are the same people who, who uh, refuse to accept the results of the 2016. These are the same people who are trying to uh, revive the, the duly uh, uh, elected president uh, and who uh, will allow Michiganders and, and, and Mississippians and, uh, and to be dictated to from New York and California. Uh, we, the people, haven't delegated certain authority to the federal government, and I aim to protect the liberties uh, of Americans uh, and Michiganders uh, in the floor of the U.S. Senate, just like I did when I was deployed to Operation Iraqi Freedom. So, so, John, if you make it to the United States Senate, fair to say that there, uh, the Republicans will not have a 60-vote uh, majority. You're, you're going to have to compromise with Democrats on things like getting defense spending, like trying to have immigration reform, like getting funding for the wall. Give us what's happened to you in your business career, perhaps also what you learned from your time in the service, that you're going to bring to Washington to be able to negotiate, to be able to make deals with. 
Well, I'll tell you what, uh, people who believe that CEOs and, and Army combat veterans uh, officers rule with an iron fist watch too many movies. Um, I have been working from the battlefield to the boardroom to, to get buy-in, to get people uh, from different uh, skill sets, different coasts, different genders, uh, different uh, ideological processes to work together toward one goal, toward one mission, and we're, uh, making sure that we're staying true to our conservative values, but making sure that we can execute on the mm -hmm. issues. I truly believe that more unites us than divides us. And there's yeah. plenty of confusion. Uh, and, and I believe having a, a, somebody who can unite and execute and get results, uh, somebody like me, is, uh, is, is right for the U.S. Senate I, I with hope, real skill set. I hope you're right. But I, I, I don't know all that much mm -hmm. of what unites, at least politically and ideologically right now. There ain't a whole lot of common ground. So if someone yeah. can walk in and do that, that would be significant. Otherwise, a lot of conservatives saying, hey, we need another reliable conservative vote, which I'm sure you'd say you are as well. Absolutely. And uh, I, if you can tell exactly how conservative I am, go to johnjamesforsenate.com and uh, learn about the values and how we're going to take the fight to Washington. Yeah, learn a lot about your service uh, there, your time as a helicopter pilot, your time at West Point. Uh, John James from the great state of Michigan, great to have you, sir. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it.